am Michelle. I'm the Children's Librarian of the Sheridan County Public Library System, and I have another book to share with you. This is called A Couch for Llama by Leah Gilbert. Wait a minute. Why does a llama have a couch? Hmm. It's kind of a mystery story, I think. And it goes like this. The Lobo family's couch was very well loved. It was a perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, hiding and seeking, and they had many good times together. That is a good couch. Way, well, maybe a too few many good times. Oops, hey. One day they realized it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. Oh, there's Llama. But how does he get a couch? One that was not too big or too small, but just right. The Logo family found the perfect couch and it fit right on top of their car, kinda. But on the way home, something went wrong. Whoosh! Oh no. Llama found a couch. Sniff, 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 he sniffed. Llama brain, hello to the couch, but the couch didn't say anything. Hmm. Llama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. So Llama ate the couch instead. Hmm, this is good. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. Ugh. The couch was useless. Take it away. But it just wouldn't budge. The Lobo family noticed something was missing. Oh no, where's our new couch? Meanwhile, Llama decided just to ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very, very boring. So Llama snuck up and pounced, and bouncy, bouncy, bounced, whirled and twirled and bumped and jumped, and fell down in the mushy, smooshy, fluffy, puffy cushions. He actually finally completely loved the couch. The Bologa family found their couch and, and also a llama. Mm. Specifically a stubborn, couch-loving kind of llama. They had a great idea. Don't worry, llama, we'll be right back. A couch just for Llama. And at the end of the day, the Logo family was happy with their new couch. But Llama was the happiest of all. And that's the story of Llama, a couch for Llama. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this story and you brighten my day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.